Now the tools that you uh, use are uh, the same ones that you use for uh, normal cars or uh, trucks or other vehicles, which is the 2D arc path. So when I do that, I can select some uh, line work where I want to align my uh, bicycle to. In this case, yeah, our bicycle, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can uh, clearly see what's uh, going on. So over here we have uh, the bicycle I've uh, placed and aligned it. And when you look at the Smart Path Tools uh, dialog box, it looks very similar to uh, what you have for a normal vehicle. Here we have uh, the, the speed that you can influence. For example, I will uh, have an, an average cycling speed of 12 kilometers per hour. Also, uh, compared to normal vehicles, you might be uh, known with the turning radius information. Well, in this case, we're not working with a turning uh, radius directly, but more with a so-called maximum lean angle that allows uh, the bicycle to uh, move into a certain direction and uh, reach the direction you want to go in. Okay, now let me start by generating these uh, uh, this sweat path. Zoom out a little more. So I'm using the center of this uh, bike path to uh, place the simulation in. So at this point, there's not much uh, specific and special going on with this uh, bicycle. But at some point, uh, in this case, I want to make a, a right turn, uh, and as a a cyclist, I already um, you know, want to anticipate on the turn that is about to come in, in this section. So what you can see that with this speed, I am uh, able to make it. What I can do is just do one more click here and then start my steering angle. And as you can see, when I'm moving with eight kilometers per hour, just look at my uh, current uh, speed right there. It's very easy to make this turn, but if maybe you want to check if also higher speeds are still uh, possible and if yeah, uh, higher speeds are more common in, in these areas and you want to know if you need to increase and improve the infrastructure here to uh, achieve a safer uh, turn. You can also change the speed here, uh, which then influences the radii of this cyclist still. It's very doable to do this with 12 uh, kilometers per hour. Another thing you might want to uh, add, for example, in, in these kinds of scenarios is uh, that you add a little extra information uh, by uh, drawing uh, offset lines. In this case, if you have a normal curb here, some uh, flat uh, pavement uh, beside that, maybe you want to see some uh, pedal uh, offsets. Let's take uh, conservative 25 centimeters for that. And when you do that now, you can see that there's a little, um, some extra blue line work in place there, indicating the uh, offset distance from the pedals. And when you see that, then you can clearly see that it's quite safe for this uh, bicycle to continue on this path. And uh, let the bicycle continue into this direction.